If I say what God says, it's not me. So I don't have to take the blame for what I'm getting ready to read because I'm only going to read what he said. Our Father, without which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I'm getting ready to read what God said. Even though sometimes when you say what God says, you feel like you got to take the flack. But you might have to be the one they hit. But you ain't the one that said it. <laughs> Somebody just, like, 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 like uh, Jeremiah said, you might kill me, but I'm innocent. You killed me. You killed him. All right, let's see what Ezekiel is saying. These are two prophets. Well, Ezekiel, Ezekiel is a priest. Jeremiah was a prophet. Let's see what the priest had to say. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, verse 6, I mean, chapter 6. He said, And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them. He said, Go over there where they had in service. Prophesy against them. Prophesy against religion. Prophesy against this idol worshippers over there in the mountain. And say, you mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God. I'm going to tell the mountains what God is telling me to tell it, so that when the mountains see all this stuff that God is getting ready to do, then the mountains understand, oh, God is doing that. He said, tell the mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to the mountains and to the hills and to the rivers and to the valleys. Behold, I will bring a sword upon you. And I will destroy your high places. He said, all those things that you built in the mountains, on the hills, riding up and down the river, talk to those things and tell those things that I'm getting ready to make a move. The people did some things on the mountain, on the hill, in the river, wells, and in the valleys. And he said, tell, go talk to the land and tell the land I'm getting ready to make my move. He said, he said, turn your face toward over there, Jer uh, Ezekiel. He said, and your altar shall be desolate, and your images shall be broken, and I will cast down your slain before your idols. He said, all that idol worship, all that religion is going to be cast, people are going to be cast down right in the midst of it. Call the mountain. Who talks to the mountain? Who talks to the valley? Who talks to the river? Ezekiel. And God told him to tell you all the things that's been going wrong on you. I'm getting ready to make my move. And if the trees praise him, and the donkey talk, and the mountain gate shook when God made his move on earth, he said, I didn't want the mountain. I'm not getting ready to destroy the mountain. I'm getting ready to destroy the things that was on the mountain. I want the mountain to know that it's me. <laughs> and the mountain is like, thank you, Lord. And I will lay the dead carcasses of the children of Israel before their idols. You've been talking to another God? And you clearly got my instructions and you're talking to something idol? I'll lay your dead body before your idols and see if your idols can get you up. And I will scatter your bones around about your altars. He said that you don't think nothing of me. And I told you not to do this. I begged, I plead, I sent prophets, I sent letters, I sent, I sent everything I could to tell you to back off because I don't stay in the same room with sin. In all your dwelling places, the city shall be laid waste. These all your apartments, high rises, going to be laid waste. In the high places shall be desolate, all your temples. Anywhere in my way, I don't care how you frame it. I don't care if they got so many glittery windows until you don't you, you just have to go in and see what's going on. It's gonna be laid waste, desolate, empty, that your altars may be laid waste and made desolate, and your idols may be broken and cease, and your images may be cut down, and your works may be abolished. He said, I'm going to make, I'm talking to the mountain because all up in the mountain is all in junk. And God said, every bit of it is going to be destroyed. 
You cannot have anything but the word of God. God is not going to accept any religion. I don't, care, I don't care how long you've been a member. If you don't have the word of God simply read, just read the word and see what God said. That's why he gave us a copy because he said, I can't trust these preachers. If you find a good preacher, you're good. But just in case you don't, I don't want you lost. Read for yourself. But you know, God told us to go to church. He did. That's his plan. That's his will. But at the same time, what about the time you can't go and didn't go? Did you get in the work? When they shut them all down? See, we got all these things that we said. We got to do all this. God gave us his perfected will. And he meant for us to dwell together and love each other. He said, but I know these folk. I know how they act. When it comes down to religion, if you find a good church, you blessed. And the slain shall fall in the midst of you. And how do you know you're in a good church? Because you can read. Because it's going to confirm what you read at home. Your children are going to hear the same thing that you told them at the, at the dinner table. That's a good place to worship. And even if you're not in a good church, you're still held accountable for doing your part to know what is right. Then you have to pray for the places that you are. And they will kick you out. <laughs> they will. So if you, if you want to be a part of a ministry that you know is not where God wants it to be, you may be there to pray, but at the same time, don't compromise. Don't stain your garment. And the slain shall fall in the midst of you, and you shall know that I am the Lord. He said, now I'm telling you this is going to happen. I'm going to use you as a prophet to say it. They're not going to believe you. But one thing they will know, you're a prophet. Because what I tell you to say, you say it. When it happened, they're going to say, he tried to tell us. We just didn't listen. And one thing they're going to know, if they don't know nothing else, they're going to know that you're not lying. Yet will I leave a remnant. I'm not going to take everybody that ye may have that shall escape the sword among the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries. I still got to get Jesus here. I'm going after Jesus' kinfolk. But I got to, I, I got to, I'm going to save me somebody. But I'm going to destroy a lot of them. And they that escape of you shall remember me. He said, if you get by what I'm saying, what I'm saying I'm going to do, and you live to, to know it, this is what you're going to say. And they that escape of you shall remember me among the nations where they shall be carried captives. Because I am broken. My heart is broken with their whorish hearts. Which has departed from me. You left my word and went out your own religious ways which have departed from me and with their eyes, which go whoring after their idols. Religion got us tripped up. Moses said the only place you're going to meet God is, if, is if his church is going to call be called the word. This is God's church right here. This is, well, when I say that, this is where you will meet God in the word. He said, I'm giving you the same copy that I gave the pastor. The same copy that I gave the king, the priest, the prophet. You got everybody got their own copy. I ain't gonna say nothing different in this book to you as I would to the king. Same word. I am broken with their horse hearts which have departed from me, and with their eyes they go looking, whoring after their idols, and they shall load themselves. For the evil which they have committed in all their abominations. He said you're going to hate yourself when you see that you are not like what I told you to be. You don't worship all up in the mountain, got all these places and all these different places. Every church that's named with this book is supposed to be saying the same thing. It's supposed to be just like the uh, menu of Chick-fil-A. We serve chicken. This book is so easy until I'm scared. This book so easy, and I didn't read it either. I ain't gonna lie to you. But when I read it, I ain't put it down. Now I'm just reading it and finding how simple it is. I said, how the world we missed this? Last verse. Nope, no it's not. 
and they shall come that I am, and they shall know that I am the Lord, and that I have not said in vain that I would do this evil unto them. He said, I told him to kill you. And those that escaped, gonna think about it. I was not lying. And I went back to the red part of uh, Nehemiah and uh, Israel last night, and they lived to testify after the fact that they were part of that river that, that, that lived and came out of the Babylonian captivity back into Jerusalem. And they remembered God. They remembered God so much that there was anything that they thought was wrong. They said, you even started up in here? I'm the same way. Uh-uh, not up in here. No, 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 no. You ain't doing it in my house. I'm talking about 2022. I fear God. No, no, no. I'm reading this. Uh-uh. Thus says the Lord God. He told the uh, Babylonians or the Chaldees or Nebuchadnezzar. Thus said the Lord God, smite with your hand and stamp with your feet and say, alas, for all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, for they shall fall by the sword, by the famine, and by the pestilence. He's going to get you three ways. Sword, famine, or what else? I'm going to get you by the sword, the famine, or the diseases, pestilence. You got three ways you're going to die. Now those of you who went out like Daniel and Ezra and Nehemiah folk, I, you, you incarcerated too, but you escaped that sword. But those of you who did not believe me, I got somebody that's going to put you on. And they ain't going to stop. How you want to say that? Let me ask some. How you want to die? You got three choices. Sword. Famine. You're going to starve to death. Or pestilence. Which one? Choose one. That's how hard it is. He said, well, the father is going to eat the son and the son is going to eat the father. This is how the, father, the word describes how the father is going to do. He's going to delicately come in. Hey, how you doing? You having a good day? Because he's going to be so hungry. You having a good day? Next day, you know, you see that fire smoking. And then he ain't going to share none of that baby food. And I'm telling the baby being the food. With none of them, he's going to be secretly trying to eat by himself and save his own food. That's how things... Hey, so I'm going to tell you something. The worst thing that you can do is close this book. The worst thing that you can do is not tell people I did this. Every church, everybody on earth, I should know that. I've been in church all my life. I'm 62 years old, and this is my first time reading this chapter in my life. I'm, am I blaming it on anybody? I am. Because what you told me, I did. You told me all the stuff that God didn't have nothing to do with the word. You could have you been telling me what the word said. But anyway, but now I'm old enough to read for myself. All I encourage you to do is don't tell, since you didn't tell me, tell other people that you may be still listening to you. He said, if you are far off, he that is far off, you, you ran, didn't you? He said, you shall die of the pestilence. He said, you're going to get it by the pestilence, and he that is near shall fall by the sword. And he that remains is besieged shall die by famine. He said, no matter where you are, you call yourself going to run, I'm going to get you. I do not play sin. I mean it. I'm going to tell you right now, when, when um, Zedekiah being the king and Jeremiah went to Zedekiah, he said, man, all you got to do is just tell God you're going to do what he said. And Zedekiah said, no, I ain't letting them people be doing Trying to get, you know, they're gonna get me. Then Jeremiah said, Zedekiah ain't gonna be like that. He said, Change so these people will change because leadership has all to do with how the people follow. He said, Change. I ain't doing it. And now these people said, God said, If you follow behind Zedekiah, I'm gonna get you. And they, you follow behind these leaders and you, he said, are you, do you understand? I'm not playing. I gave you a copy of the leader's book. You can see whether the leader tells the truth. Read it. I'm not telling him nothing. But the Lord told me to tell. No, he didn't. He didn't tell nobody. He didn't tell me and nobody else nothing that you can't read for yourself. He that is far off shall die of the pest. You tried to run. He that is near shall fall by the sword. So if you stay, if you run, 
Because the folk that were still trying to stay, trying to fight the folk, I said, I, I told them people kill you. Well, how could God do that? It don't sound like God. That's God the person that teaches you, lying to you. If God tells you, I'm going to do these things, so get off that road. I'm telling you, I'm only telling you this for you to move. Don't you know that Lord? He could have ambushed you. But he said, I ain't going to do it like that. I'm loving you enough, Brenda, that if you don't stop eating all that chocolate, all the cookies, it's not that I don't love you. I'm telling you, stop eating it. But if, if you don't, you're going to hurt. And ultimately die. That's, what's the difference in God saying, I got health laws to keep you in longevity of life. And then I'm telling you, don't go talking to no piece of wood called me. Now I'll kill you for that. Because you got your children believing that. And your neighborhood's going to be destroyed. And the community's going to be destroyed. All because you got my name praying to a bottle of water. He said, I'm going to tell you now. I ain't playing. I'm going to kill you for it. I ain't going to break that. It, it, God don't talk to you. You know, when Jesus came, he came. And Jesus said, I'm me and my father think just like. He said, I said, go learn from the Old Testament. You don't believe me because I ain't talk much. I admit what I said. He said, Jesus said, what I said is this. Love one another. You don't even do that. I kill you on that. You'll die over that. I'm the gift. I told you to meet the gift, my father. If I say whatever I said, he said, I ain't said it but one time. I meant every bit of But since y'all think that my father's word is diminished or outdated or we don't live like that no more. He said, well, just do what I said. It'll still kill you if you don't. If I say love one another, I meant that. If I say forgive, he said, I meant that. I didn't say these things because there were no consequences. I said these things because I knew you were going to read the Old Testament. I still mean it. I mean, every, he said, me and my father won. It ain't nothing that my father did. I don't believe it. I believe everything my father said. There is nothing that I came to tell my father. You ain't know what you were talking about. I really came to fulfill what my father was saying. He really, truly, he ain't get no joy out of me dying like that. But I said, he said, that's what it's going to take. I said, okay. He said, but if I put you on that cross and they still don't hear, he said, I get it. Then shall you know that I am the Lord when they sla when their slain shall be among their idols. You're going to have all your dead folk around all the religious churches. This, I'm just using an hour day based on that. Their idols round about their altars upon every high hill and all the tops of the mountains and under every green tree. This is where they worship. On the hill, on the mountain, on the green trees. And under every thick oak, the place where, oh, I'm trying to see that I skip, go to the seventh chapter. No, I'm still there. He said, on the hill, I'm going to kill you. On the top of the mountain, I'm going to kill you. Under the green tree, I'm going to kill you. Under the thick oak, I'm going to kill you. The places where they did all the sweet savor, savor or sweet smelling scents until they are idols. I'm going to kill you. I'm saying real plain. But you don't have to go there. This is a prophecy. Don't go down that road. I'm going to kill on that road. So what am I, what is love trying to tell us? Don't go there. Put this in the minds of the people to say there are certain things that will kill you ordained by God. There's no safety on this road. So will I stretch out my hand upon them and make the land desolate, that means without life. Yes, more desolate than the wilderness toward the block. And I looked that word and they said, that's a cemetery. Just dead people. D I B L A T H, the block. And all their habitations and anything around them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. I'm telling you this way before I bring it to pass to get you. Don't drink out that cup. 
Don't drink out there, cause that water. He said, Adam, don't y'all eat off that tree. Don't do it. And it's not that I don't love you, but why you put the tree there? I got my purpose. Go over, leave that tree alone. Leave that tree alone, and I'm telling you, you'll live. God told these people, he's I'm tired now. I, I don't want to do this, but I will. So Jeremiah, go down and tell them folk now. Tell them I don't deal with sin. I don't deal with people getting in the pulpit and not teaching this word. I don't deal with that. I'll kill you for that. I will kill you just as sure as you that somebody says a boy. It's a girl. He said, tell him I said it. Don't be afraid to speak my word. I'm not playing. Tell my people to open up this book and read it for themselves. That's why you got a copy. You ain't got to wait on nobody to tell you what I said. Get to know what I said for yourself and read it right. Don't go in there picking it too well. God don't do it. Yes, he does. It's a company. The world is God's company. You're not doing right. He'll get rid of you. But you sound like you're glad. I'm glad that I know that I ain't got no business going under that road where he said he's going to kill me on. Jesus said that we don't hear what he got to say in Revelation. He said, I'm going to be a petition like this. He said, the Father going to be right in front of your face and I'm going to make sure you'll never get eye contact with him. That's Jesus' word through the book of John. But through, the, through John in the book of Revelation. He does not get any joy out of doing what he said he's going to do to people. But he said, but I will keep my word because I am just as good on my word in blessing you as I will in destroying you. That's his word. Judging on Israel. This happened to Israel. So what is that for me to do? Don't do what Israel did because it does not please God. Now, what can I do to avoid the situation of going through the state of the word. Because my what, what's going to happen is just like when I was a child, my mama told me certain things and they got in my head. Even to this day, I don't do it because I hear it. I, I'm reminded that don't do that, brother. Don't do that, brother. And some of the things that she told me I could do, but I still got a little halt about it because it's in my head. So it is with the spirit of God. When God tells us not to do a certain thing, he said, he said, when you get in my word, you'll know when to make a turn and when not to, because I'll remind you, don't go there. So get full of me. So you'll think like I do. Love y'all. Bye.